Do you remember these characters? Anyone remember the name of the bully in Karate Kid on the left? Yeah, that's Johnny Lawrence. And does anyone remember the bully in Back to the Future on the right? Yeah, his name was Biff. Well, a bully is someone who through force or intimidation does what they want to do, regardless of those around them. In IT, a bully is used to describe how one system or application in a shared environment can impact the experience of another system or application. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to identify bullies in your IBM SVC Spectrum environment and quantify the improvements of the health of the environment when they are absent. In this next slide I'm going to show you a front-end dashboard and the SVC front-end dashboard identifies the key availability risk indicators for the systems running Spectrum virtualized software based on the storage pool front end metrics. So each row in this dashboard is going to represent a different system running at a Spectrum Virtualize and the columns that you'll see along the top will represent the different risk indicators. The rating is simply a way of measuring the intensity of the risk with zero being no risk and three indicating significant risk. And by hovering over each bubble in the application you can see the ratings and tooltips for each metrics. Now let's take a look at that dashboard. In this dashboard, you can see that SVC001 is experiencing significant issues as indicated by the big red dots. We want to get more detail though, so we're going to drill down to the individual storage pools associated with SVC001. The storage pool dashboard that I'm going to show you next will highlight the storage pools with the most risk. Several of the storage pools have risk, but we want to look specifically at the pool named EP Flash underscore three, which is our pool residing entirely on an IBM Flash system. By clicking on the storage pool, EP Flash underscore three, and drilling down to the mini line charts, we can better determine where the performance problem is located. These charts leverage the rating system for the key risk indicators, as did the previous dashboards. The overall front end response time, front end right response time, and fast right bypass IOs are all red, indicating there's some exceptions. We can actually ignore the fast right bypass IOs for now because the right cache for this pool was actually disabled during this period. The front end read response time has a warning and a rating of 0.28. These are all metrics that indicate saturation with the front end of the SVC or its cache. In order to verify if the back end performance is good, we just need to check the performance between the SVC and the Flash system. And we're going to do this by clicking on the Manage Disk Report set and selecting the External Read Response Time chart. Once we have this chart in view, we can actually just click on SVC001 to drill down to the individual pools, which I'll show in the next slide. In this chart, we see that the external read response time for EP Flash underscore 3 is less than one millisecond. Therefore, we can safely conclude that the performance issues are not with the flash system, but rather with the front end of the SVC. The next step is to determine who is causing the workload to the pool EP Flash 3. Now we do this by selecting the storage pool report set and selecting the throughput chart. And from there, we can drill down to the storage pools for SVC001. Now that we've got the storage pool throughput in view, we can actually drill down to the individual volumes on the EP flash underscore three storage pool to see the top 100 volumes for that storage pool. What stands out in this chart is the steady throughput for volumes ending in 125, 202, 124, and 57. Now we want to know which systems these volumes are associated with, so I'm simply going to click on the identify button so that we can see which system these volumes relate to. It turns out that the volumes relate to hosts with the prefix ABA AIX. Working with the AIX administrator, we determined that these volumes support an Oracle database. We then worked with the Oracle DBA to determine the purpose and activity of these volumes. It was found that these volumes contained Oracle tables and the query being executed was hitting the tables without any indexes. So what the DBAs did was they used this information to configure the indexes. And the rest of the case study is going to show what happened next. So in this next chart, we're actually going to fast forward a week and look at what the 
EP flash underscore three storage pool looked like when the problem was resolved. What we see in this chart is that the workload profile changed dramatically as the workload from those top four volumes simply disappears. So now the question is, did this reduction in throughput improve the front end response time? And in this next chart, we're gonna compare the response times for 928 when the indexes were added with the response times from 923. It will clearly show that the removal of the workload from the bully volumes resulted in a significant improvement in the front end response times. This chart shows that the front end response time improved by an average of 0.45 milliseconds or 18.45%. Additionally, the risk improved from a warning on the left to no risk on the right. In this demo, I showed you how to quickly identify the bullies in the environment and how when dealt with, the overall response time and risk for the entire environment improved. And that, my friends, is how you deal with the bully. Just like Daniel and Marty dealt with their bullies, we have got to properly manage bullies in shared environments. If they cannot behave, such as optimizing queries and adding indexes, as in this case, you simply have to click their wings so with something like IO governance or give them a dedicated environment.